Assalamualaikum Level 9. I hope you all are fine and doing well. Here we have the Rambi pack of Level 9, Subject Physics. Open up page number 32. Now we will move to question number 5. Question number 5 is learn the following. Statement number 1 is write a note on importance of physics in daily life. Open up page number 3 of your textbook. Here we have the importance of physics in our daily life. Define physics and write a note on its branches. Open up page number 3 again. In physics we study matter, energy and their interactions. And these are the branches of physics. Question number 3. Write a note on screw gauge. Open up page number 13 of your textbook. Here we have the screw gauge. A screw gauge is an instrument that is used to measure small lengths with accuracy greater than a vernier caliper. It is also called micrometer screw gauge. Now we will move to now we will move to question number 4. What do you mean by figures of measurement? And write down rule for determining the number of significant figure. Open up page number 20 and 21. Here we have the topic significant figures. And these are the rules to find the significant digits in a measurement. Now open up page number 23. Here we have the definition of significant figure all the accurately noun digits and the first doubtful digit in an expression are called significant figures it reflects the precision of a measured value of a physical we will move to question number five describe the important rule for rounding the number open up page number 22 student in page number 22 here we have some rules for rounding the numbers now we will move to question number 6. Write a note on motion and its different type. Open up page number 29. A body is said to be in motion if it changes its position with respect to its surrounding. This is the definition of motion and here we have some types of motion. Translatory, rotatory, vibratory. Now we will move to question number 7. What are vectors and scalar quantities? How vector quantities are represented? Now open up page number 33. A scalar quantity is described completely by its magnitude only and a vector quantity is described completely by magnitude and direction. Now we will move to question number 8. Define graph, independent quantity and dependent quantity. Open up page number 40. Here we have the definition of graph, dependent quantity and independent quantity. Now we will move to question number 9. Drive equation of motion for uniformly accelerated rectilinear motion. Open up page number 45. First equation of motion and the diagram of first equation of motion. Define translatory motion and explain its types. Open up page number 29. This is the definition of translatory motion. And here we have some examples types of translatory motion. The first one is linear, second one is circular and the third one is random motion now we will move to question number 11 calculate mass of earth by using law of gravitation open up page number 110 on page number 110 you have the answer ma mass of the earth now we will move to question number 12 what are artificial satellites should calculate the orbital speed of artificial satellite answer will be on page number 112.
साइंटिस्ट साइंटिस्ट हैव सेंट मैनी ऑब्जेक्ट्स इन टू स्पेस सम ऑफ दीज ऑब्जेक्ट्स रिवॉल्व अराउंड द अर्थ दीज आर कॉल्ड आर्टिफिशियल सेटेलाइट एंड ऑल्सो यू हैव टू कैलकुलेट द स्पीड ऑफ आर्टिफिशियल सेटेलाइट बाय दिस What is vernier caliber? Explain it by drawing its diagram. Open up page number ten. The accuracy obtained in measurements using a meter rule is up to one millimeter. However, an accuracy greater than one millimeter can be obtained by using some other instruments such as vernier caliper. And here we have the diagram of vernier caliper. Now we will move to question number fifteen. Define and explain Newton's second law of motion. Open up page number sixty. On page number sixty, here we have the def definition of Newton's second law of motion and explanation second law of motion. Sixteen is what is equilibrium? Explain different types of equilibrium. Now open up page number ninety-seven of your textbook. Here we have the answer of. A body is said to be in equilibrium if no net force acts on it. There are three types of equilibrium. The first one is stable, unstable, and neutral. Now we will move to question number seventeen. What are the rec rectangular components? Also calculate the rectangular components of a force. Now open up page number forty one of your A plus. Rectangular components. If a force is formed by two mutually perpendicular components, then such components are called its rectangular components or perpendicular components. Now we will move to question number eighteen. What is center of gravity? Calculate the center of gravity of irregular shape thin lamina. Open up page number ninety-four. Center of gravity. A point where the whole weight of a body appears to act vertically downward is called center of gravity. And we have, and we have. Here we have the topic center of gravity of any regular shape thin lamina. From this to this, I hope you all are done. Thank you so much. Allah Hafiz.